Drop down and give me 50. This song is not about push-ups, but yet it kind of is because I feel that if you are into competition like that, no matter what your path is, then you should be able to drop down and give someone 50. I mean, even Rizzo once said, 50 straight push-ups keep the body in perfect shape. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Mixtape Moth. If you are rocking with this content, Go ahead and smash that like button up for your boy and also subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Is that is greatly appreciated. But today I'm gonna hit y'all with my thoughts on this new Drake track entitled Drop and Give Me 50. This this track is aimed at a bunch of folks who took shots at Drizzy lately. Uh that's like basically 20 people. Uh, but I personally just was focused on hearing the bars that he got off on Kendrick. That's really all I cared about going into this track to keep it a buck. Now, I love J. Cole's music and I was actually rooting for him in this whole situation. But what he did with the apology, that was soft and not the hip hop move to make. Uh, so ever since he bowed out of this competition ever so peacefully, uh, I was really looking forward to hearing a response from Drake. Because whether or not you like Drake's music, he is battle tested. Uh, he does have a killer instinct. And furthermore, he's hip hop. And this energy was pure hip hop. Sorry, guys. It just was. But getting right into this track, talking about the production real quick, it has this ominous icy beat uh, that does make it a banger. I have zero issue with the production whatsoever. In fact, I'm really digging this instrumental. Now getting straight into the bars, uh, Drake does take aim at Future on the opening lines, saying essentially that he's not about being no one's number one fan. And that was cool and all, but I'm thinking let's just get into the Kendrick stuff. So his first jab at Kendrick came shortly after when he said, you won't ever take no chain off us. How the F you big stepping with a size seven men's on? Uh, okay, that was witty. Whether or not uh, Kendrick's shoe size is accurate, it's still a funny bar. Drake then goes on to talk about Kendrick getting jerked from TDE from a business standpoint, hence the 50 in the title. Although it also could have been inspired by the footage of Kendrick doing uh, some push-ups in the park. Either way, it slipped. Next. Drizzy takes a page from J. Cole's playbook and goes on to criticize uh, Kendrick's Mr. Morale album with your last one bricked, you really not on shit. And that was just okay to me, not the most original or clever thing to say. However, Drake did make a valid point with the following lines where he suggests that Kendrick has actually done pop things too. It's not just Drake. He states, Maroon 5 need a verse. You better make it witty that we need a virus for the Swifties. <laughs> and Drake, you have still done way more pop songs than Kendrick will ever do, to be fair. But at the same time, let's also not act like Kendrick is only making super underground sounding music either. But then Drake goes on to address the whole big three dilemma with uh, Pipsqueak Pipe Down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label boy, you in a scope right now. So I like the bars and Drake calling him pipsqueak. That was some old school humor. Uh, but Drake, he is approaching the whole big three argument here from uh, the sales perspective. And I don't think that's what Cole meant when he originally brought up the big three. Drake then goes back into his Michael Jackson bag with lines like, a uh, big difference between Mike then and Mike now. Also, uh, what's a prince to a king? He's the son. Okay, those are hard bars uh, aimed at Kendrick uh, in regards to his jab about Prince and Mike Jack on like that. So it's clear what Drake was doing there. The line directed at Metro booming. It was simple but funny. He said, Metro shut your hoe ass up and make some drums. It's like he's trying to minimize or sun Metro's uh, whole Roll in all this. Drake also disses the weekend, and I wasn't super interested in that part to be honest. But I know that he's trying to address the main people that got at him lately. He calls Kendrick a little midget, which I think was kind of weak since I'm sure Kendrick has gotten over the fact that he's short and like 
ninth grade, so it doesn't really have much of a sting to it. Drake then comes at Ricky Rose with Can't Believe He Jumping In. This dude turning 50. Every song that made it on the chart, he got from Drizzy. And that's not to say that Ross doesn't have some bangers on his own, uh, but yes, some of his biggest tracks did come with a Drake feature, so that was valid. After this, Drizzy goes on to clarify that this whole beef uh, you know, did not start with the first person shooter song, nor uh, did it begin with the Like That track. Uh, he says, and that effing song is not starting beef with us. This shit been brewing in a pot. Now I'm heating up. I don't care what Cole think. That dog shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping. He is not effing easing up. So it seems like Cole took a shot there, a light one. But I think Drake was either calling his apology week or perhaps just his whole exchange with Kendrick in general. Then in the closing lines, he does say, this ain't even everything I know, don't want to wake the demon up. Uh, which does suggest in a sinister way uh, that this is just a kind of warm up and to be in store for more surgical stuff next. So overall, I do think this is a dope this track, like in terms of having good production, a good delivery, decent jabs, uh, humor, and a catchy refrain, it's all there. Drake definitely did what he had to do to get some folks off his back, that's for sure. Now, was this a nail in the coffin, body bag sort of diss track from Drake? Uh, no, but in fairness, neither was Kendrick's verse on like that. At this point, it seems as though they are still baiting each other. Yeah, the bars weren't the craziest compared to older Drake diss tracks, but I wouldn't call them light either. At the end of the day, I did enjoy this diss track, to be honest, and it really has me anticipating for what Kendrick is going to be coming with. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Now, I'm not going to declare a winner at this stage because Kendrick started with some warning shots with just one verse and then Drake responded to Kendrick and like 20 other folks. But I am going to close with the question. So for the folks out there who claim that Drake is just not hip hop, then what exactly do you call this response? Well, it's your boy, Mixtape Mob. I'm signing out. As always, it's peace and blessings. I'm out.